Hi, would you diagnose tenosynovitis by this image? The answer is no. When should you diagnose tenosynovitis on ultrasound? Here are some examples. In this example, there's only normal physiologic fluid within the posterior tibial tendon sheath inside the medial ankle. Tenosynovitis is inflammation of the lining of the protective tendon sheath that surrounds a tendon. A tendon sheath will not be visualized unless it's swollen. In this example, it is tenosynovitis of the posterior tibial tendon. It doesn't matter if it's simple or complex fluid. In this example, you're going to see that there is hyperemia present with power Doppler, but that's not always the case. When you're imaging the tendons, they should be evaluated in the long and the short axis. In this example of the long head biceps tendon in the shoulder, this is only normal physiologic fluid. It's important not to overcall pathology. A normal tendon sheath will have a small volume of synovial fluid present. This will lubricate the tendon, allowing it to glide easily, and it also will protect the tendon by creating a barrier around it. A good rule of thumb to diagnose tenosynovitis is when the fluid within the tendon sheath completely surrounds the tendon in the image, like in this example. This is tenosynovitis of the long head biceps tendon. I hope this tip makes you feel more confident when you're diagnosing this finding on ultrasound. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the Learn MSK Sano YouTube channel and drop a like.